Starting from Prodigy 4.2.0, uh, there is a, a lot of new features that was added to the gallery. Uh, starting with a new button on the top right corner of the screen, which is a settings button. This settings button will show a menu, which is the same menu as if uh, on the current version, you would be pressing and holding the back button. So for example, in the gallery, right now, which I, I am at, I am at the root of my gallery. I can go in, in the settings uh, menu by clicking at the button on the top right corner, and I will have a, a settings menu there, uh, which is uh, the create the category, create a new page, create a new document, or delete the uh, gallery content. Also in 4.2.0, you can rename a document using uppercase or lowercase letters. So by pressing and holding a document, an image, or a category, uh, this will pop up in an action menu with the uh, option of renaming a document or uh, the item that you have selected. And I can write here using capital or uh, upper or, or lowercase um, letters, for example. So I have here a mix of the two here. Uh, you can also uh, create up to um, four levels of uh, categories. In, the, in this new version. What you do is that if you press the settings menu again, create a category, which I will call L1, level one, I will be creating a category L1. If I go inside L1 and create a category, I can create a category inside L1, which I will call L2. And then I will do the same in L2. I will go into L2, create a new category by selecting the settings button, which I'm gonna call L3. I will go inside L3, create another category, L4. Now, if I go into L4 and click on the settings menu, I won't have the possibility of um, creating a new category because I already have my four levels. So I can move any document, any image uh, inside these uh, categories. So if I go back to my gallery, my root of my gallery, I can go anywhere, select a file, so press and hold on this page here, and I can move it. Once I press move, I can select my L1, which I just created, go to my L1, go inside, now my document is inside L1, I can press again on that file, move, and now I can move it either to L2 or to images. So I'll select L2, which my image now is in L2. And now what I would like to do, I will show you what images will do. So I will press and hold on my document, move to images. By doing that, I have moved my image or my document to my root of my gallery. So if I go back to the root of the gallery, I went too far, but my image is in the root now. There's also a possibility of renumbering uh, pages in a book. So let's say I have imported a book, which I did right now. Uh, I imported a PDF um, inside Prodigy. And let's say my first page really is page number five, because before that first page, you would have a preface or a table of contents, and then my first real page is on page one. So you, the possibility of renaming that, you know, renumbering that page is necessary, because then it will follow uh, the printed copy of, of the book. So let's say, for example, here, I'm gonna press and hold that first page. In the action menu, I will see renumber, and I will say my first page is now number five. And as soon as I'll do this, I'll click the OK. It's gonna renumber all the pages from starting from five. So I have five my first page, six my second, and so on. So now let's say I have a big, big, big book like I have here, and I'd like to go to my page 50. Now right now in the current version, I would have to swipe and swipe again and swipe again until I get to page 50. 
But then there's a go to page uh, option by clicking the settings menu, go to, and let's write 50 here, enter, and I'm at page 50. I can do the same thing if I go inside the page. So I'm inside the page, I'm reading the page, and I want to jump to, let's say, page uh, 55. I can go into settings here in my button banner, and the first option on top is go to, and I'm going to write here 55, and it's going to open my page 55 um, where I'm at. So this is a very nice feature to navigate through uh, a big uh, book or a large book that was imported in uh, Prodigy. There's also a new, another feature that has been added to the gallery is uh, a notes category. This notes category will be there automatically by default. And what is this used for? It's, it's used for to create quick notes. Uh, for example, in school, you'd like to create a quick note what the teacher is saying. Uh, you go into your notes category, click on the settings menu here. You can create a new note or you can create a new category. Again, you can create categories up to four levels up. So you can organize all your notes. So here, if I click uh, the create new note, it will create a new blank page for me. So by doing that, I can press the third button from the uh, left of, but of the button banner, which is a pen. And I can start writing either with my finger or with a stylus. Uh, I can start writing my notes. Or if I'd like to, I can click on that button where the pen is until I get a T and use a keyboard. So when I have a T, I can press and hold in the page. And then I can use either the virtual keyboard or if I have a uh, Bluetooth keyboard, I can connect that Bluetooth keyboard and use that. Very easy. Once I'm done writing the note, I can send it by clicking the paper airplane on the top right corner. If I want to move what I have written, I can select what I've written, pan with it, place it where I want. And then I can either, I can also do a pinch and zoom to resize the font of what I have written. Once I press the, click, the back button, it will be saved automatically in my notes um, category. Like I said previously, I can do the settings menu, create a new category, and say this is uh, my notes for uh, school. And then I can place that note inside my school category. And you can have up to four levels up to organize all your notes. And next time you come in my, the gallery, all your notes is in the um, notes category. Um, I can go in my distance category and move now uh, in any images that I have in my distance uh, folder or category, move it to the gallery, or I can move it to any other uh, category that I have on, in my uh, gallery. So I can press on level uh, L1 and my image will be moved to my category L1. So right now my image has been moved there.